All right, so all, for all you regular viewers of the channel, you've seen my shed before. I know what you've probably thought, because I think it every time I see it, you think, man, that shed's pretty untidy, it's a little pokey. Um, he works pretty untidy, whatever. Now's my time for a great infomercial cut-in, because wait, there is more. Check this out. This is how it sits at the moment. I've still got all the plastic up from painting. Don't know what I'm doing with that yet. Seeing that it might need a little bit of extra work, but I've started knocking some of this suspension apart and considering I've got a YouTube channel, I should probably film some of it. So what I've got here is an olefane bush kit and uh, I'm just looking through starting to knock these lower control arms and stuff out uh, I've got some new ball joints lower ball joints and stuff to put in so and some new bushes so I thought I'd just get the camera out as you do so I'm gonna cut these these uh, have been huck bolted from factory so I'll cut these huck bolts off then what I'm gonna do is get these bushes out and probably sandblast it. I'm going to sandblast uh, these. Where are they? Strut. I got the strut top somewhere as well. So I'll uh, get this, the strut top sandblasted, and I'm just literally just going to hit them with pressure pack for now. And uh, I might put some nice ones on later on. But anyway, let's get to getting the suspension back together. OG lower control arm washing, that is... Mate, that'll go again. That'll go another 240, I reckon. Ah, oh, what the hell. We've got some new ones. We'll use them. Although I am slapping this car back together just to get it going and likely blow it all apart again later and redo a heap of stuff, some of these things are too rough to even just put straight back on the car, so... They're so grubby. I'm going to take these over to my father-in-law's and use his sandblaster. I'm going to blast these. And what I was thinking was, while I was looking at it, I was thinking, man, I really don't like the way these studs like hang through the strut top. They look pretty crap, pretty crappy. So I reckon I'm just going to punch all these out and then weld the nuts that I had for this that came off it. I reckon I might weld them underneath. And that way, we can use like a, a um, dome head or a cap head bolt on the top so it'll have a more flush look. So, what I'm going to do is use this socket, you know, because I'm high tech here, always high tech. I'm use this socket and this little vise. I'm going to press all these out, so let's do that. like that. Nice and simple. There we go. Just like that. Ready for blast. So I'll go blast these. And then we'll weld some nuts on. Tack them on there. Bit of pressure pack. Bit of pressure pack perhaps. Finally decide to rock up. 
I had to come and give you a hand, bro. Yeah. I mean, I can leave if you want. Yeah, you can help me clean up some of this bloody mess. <laughs> we have made a mess. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this stuff that you sandblast has turned out pretty good, but I'm pretty... Yeah, for I mean, pretty... not that I sh should really care, or not that my opinion means anything, but it's turned out pretty good. Yeah, for, for a pressure pack, mm. <laughs> primer and paint in one, like, yeah. that's how slack I'm getting, eh? Yeah. Oh, well, got to do what you got to do. Getting desperate to uh, smack this thing together. Fucking just noticed, is this what happens when you try and learn to do a kickflip in your 30s? Yeah, I was doing it, Ollie. Trying right. to keep up with the kids, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. Oh, where you at? Where are we at? Dual Lux rebuild on these strut tops here. Yeah. So I'll just give them a quick blast. Uh, I said I said to you guys before that I was going to, when I punched the studs out, that I was going to weld the nuts on the bottom. I decided against that. Number one, because I'm lazy. And number two, I justified it to myself that I'll just use a nylac on the bottom. Yeah. And um, what that will do is I'll be able to hold it I mean, it's a silly reason, but this is what I'm going with. I'll be out. These aren't the studs I've got either. I've got some um, button heads that we're going to use. Yeah. I've just got to shorten them down, so we'll do that in a second. But I'll be able to hold the bolt steady, and I'll be able to do it up from the bottom. I won't have to worry about twisting, twisting washers and ripping the paint or anything like that. Don't so, want to scratch up that fresh juco. Yeah, that's right. So that you spent a lot of time and effort on. Yeah. So that'll be alright, I think. I mean, yeah, it's see. a nylac. These things don't have to come out at all you, whenever I to pull a strut out I always pull it out that way so give those a quick little hit as well as you would have seen in the video cleaned up the rubber it looks all looks okay this is definitely not show quality but it's it's this is how I slap things together so yeah sick so we just gotta cut down the bolt so we can put the strut toss back in and then we're gonna get this thing rolling again eh? yeah yeah we'll start um, throwing some bushes in in all the lower control arms I'll bolt up the ball joints and stuff like that and yeah we'll just see if we can't get it to a point where we can turn it into a roller and that way I can roll it out of the shed and do a couple other little small painting jobs that I need to do and just clean this joint up yeah 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 it's a brothel man but whatever it is what it is <laughs> How's this fancy new toolbox you got, dog? It's good, eh? New old one. Thanks yeah. to my boy Kirky. Thanks for that, mate. He's you... throwing it out. He was throwing it out and he goes, you know who? Well, I know a bloke that will take this. Yeah, I know a bloke with the most disorganised shed in all the land. Yep. And he could do with some toolboxy. Yeah, you can always use more toolboxes. So Absolutely. Shout uh, out to Kirky, yeah. Cheers, Kirky. That, you sorted our boy out. Yep. Legend. are covered in fucking anus things. What's with this? What is that? What's uh, that? It's your rattle gun. Yeah, what's the black thing hanging off the end of it? Impact socket. I've never seen one of them Yeah, before. I know. I'm not as bad as you, are. Eh? <laughs> no, actually I am. I use chrome sockets on these all the time. <laughs> Give this a good... Bah! Oh! I'm glad I've done that. That looks good. Yeah, I think that's a, a vast improvement. Look at that. That is that is a simple upgrade. Yeah. Yeah, no, they punched out hella easy. Yeah, that is a Nothing very simple You don't even need to know how to weld. Look, I'll show you. I could have welded them. Too lazy. Yep. All oh. you need is a socket and a hammer, and you literally can do that. Yeah. Yep. That looks sick, dude. I might have to do that on my ute one day. Like all the rest when of the turbo things. <laughs> Just stop it! Stop! And did you tell the people? That Actually, you've... no, I didn't. You've had that thing sandblasted. Yeah, I got it blasted and powder coated satin black. Mmm, so. look at that. She looking fly, dude. That yeah. actually, look at that. That contrast with the white. That yeah. actually looks I didn't. Sick. I didn't want to give that the Dualax reboot. I thought that would be worth 
the effort of blasting and getting it powder coated because yeah. It, yeah it, I wouldn't have been able to get it to look anything like that with, yeah. with a bit of plus well, it's heaps of extra work man yeah slapped together he says yeah well, slapped together it was easier only got, to just got it, it powder coated give it to them and they can blast it no I don't want to be sanding that back <laughs> <laughs> Some good bush. Yeah. Always carefully read the instructions. Particularly when you don't know what the fuck you're doing. So we're about to finish putting the rest of the suspension in and what do you know, I've changed my mind. We decided we're going to put some Raptor liner on. So I've just put a bit of primer under the bit where it needed it. All this stuff's already primed. Jeff has gone to town with the masking off. He's done a pretty good, pretty good job I reckon. So now we're going to cruise over and get this Raptor mixed up and spray it on. Yeah, in the theme of just slapping it back together, we're gonna go to town on this thing. So I've got a bit of this stuff left over from um, doing the underbody of my VH as well as doing the tray on my ute. And it's super simple stuff if you've ever seen it. I'm sure you would have heard about it, Raptor line or Raptor coat or X line was another one. Um, it doesn't get much simpler than this. You, can't, you don't use a normal gun, you use one of these, which I think is called a Schutz gun or, or a Schutz gun. It's S-C-H-U-T-Z. Schutz is how I pronounce it anyway. You get, this is a four litre kit, so you get four of these bottles. Now in this bottle there's 750 mils of the, um, the rubberized urethane. And then you've just got to put 250 mils of hardener in and it even gives you a sweet little cup. It really doesn't get any simpler than this, hey? Like you just literally pour in to the fill line, put it in the bottle, give it a shake, 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 shake. You screw the bottle onto the bottom of the gun and you send it and it comes out really nice. It's a, it's a hard rubberized coating, uh, very protective, great for underbodies of cars and stuff. So. This is probably what we should have done before we even sprayed the inside of the bay, I reckon. But hey, we're here now. Yeah, I've really, I've really screwed the pooch on everything this far with the painting and that, but whatever. That yeah, maybe hey, we're getting it done now. So we're gonna shoot it, um, let it dry overnight, and then we'll be able to strut this in and make this thing a roller again later. Sounds good to me. <laughs> it's on camera, you dog! Yeah! <laughs> Joke's on you!
we've let the wrapped aligner dry overnight. It looks really good, so now it's time to slam the struts back in this thing and get working towards getting it back as a roller. So I'll put this on the tripod. Jeff's not here today, he's at work. He'll catch up with us later. So yeah, I'll slap these struts in and see if I can't get this thing rolling. Rebel soul child got a fist ball. I'm a respawn of ancestors and I'm blessed, huh? They are not him, tell him fess up. I get checks up, hella carefree, nothing scares me, hella reckless. Yeah, I got next up, right? No, we not the same, cause see when I look in your iris, you likely to talk and I'm ready to ride. You do better keeping it quiet. My pen is ignited, my soul is enlightened. I like who I am, but I'm biased. They palette is right on my drip is a fountain. I'm not like these regular guys. All of that talk is misguided. But she like the way I make the tape print, but the way I make the words play is grim. I'm the reaper reaching for the kill switch. The label cut the check like the blazeman. Something sparking where his brain is. The beat is somewhere where they prayer sent. For anyone vomits in their mouth, no, I'm not using these wheels. They're literally just to roll it around on the ground. These, these are disgusting, I know, but they're not getting used, so try not to vomit. Look both ways for you catch fade. I'm a nice guy on the inside. Still, I'm not somebody to be played with. Keep it all the way, get thousand. I don't remember how the ground feels. I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drowned in. I head on a swivel. Yeah. It's only really my surroundings. They keep it all the way, get thousand. I don't remember how the ground feels. I left the city, I've been browsing. Treading water that they drowned in. I head on a swivel. Yeah. It's only really my surroundings. Can't stop, won't stop. Till I told the world when the glow trap. Then I nigga dealt that it's so top. Type of shit they hide in a tube sock. I done skipped town on a new block. But I'm still around, nigga, just not. Better hold it down with a groove drop where I kick down for the crowd of a loop pop. Let they come around for my moolah. Better run them out of town for their hoopla. Queen, she a hunt like Mulan. Everything the hoes what they were, but they just not. They be right up in your face with a fake stop. They be thinking it's a game, but it's just not. They be thinking we the same, but the sub part. You from joy through the mud when the flood stop, pull up. I feel amazing. Pyramid scheme, how I play the angle. I send it to your girl, but I make a facelift. This is your brain, little bitch. Wait, I'll be hella wild, but you can't tame me. Got the keys to the cradle with no cable. Smell it like basil. Yeah, I got the flavor. I ain't got no patience. Kept it with a savor. I be on a nerve, but that shit painful. Like a sour when I serve, had that shit taste. Trip a conversation. Give them waves till they make shit. The flotation is outrageous. Ooh, wee, you look, boy. She's out in the sun. Yep, for the first time. And, dude. It looks sick. It is super shiny. I've got to I've got to wear glasses because honestly, that white man, it's brighter than my future. It is. It I mean, is. this could be matte black and still be the same. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh. um, Jeez, that was a bit rough. Yeah, it was. I wasn't ready for it either. <laughs> like you leave the low hanging fruit, man. I'm gonna grab it every time. <laughs> <laughs> you dog. Um. Man, it looks, uh, honestly, it looks sick. It looks way better out in the sun than it did under the fluoros. We know that the fluoros are like, yeah. um, they're pretty they're pretty rough in, in terms yeah. of showing up imperfections. Yeah, yeah, there's, it's, there's got imperfections, but yeah. like I keep saying, I'm not gonna keep harping on about it. We'll get this re-sprayed, yeah. you know, near future, and we'll deal with the rest for now, and when the whole car gets done, we'll strip it all out and do it all. I put in a bit more effort. Yeah. Oh, well, I think honestly, we probably put a little bit too much focus on the imperfection. Now we've got it out in the sun, where we can actually see. Yeah. It's re it's really not anywhere near as bad as we first thought. So, I'm yeah. Yeah. I'm super stoked. I'm pretty pretty proud of the effort you put in, man. It looks sick for for what it is. You know, yeah. like obviously you're gonna sit there and be like, oh, I could have done this and I could have done that and whatever else. Yeah. But for what it is, man, I reckon you've absolutely nailed it. Yeah. No, we're just shifting focus now towards getting this thing running man so yeah that's it and hey that raptor liner man that turned out sick you were yeah you were almost gonna bypass gonna it. it yeah i yeah. wasn't gonna do it right then i was gonna i'm one of those oh yeah i'll do it do it later on sort of thing but you push push me into it and we did it straight away when we should have done it and uh i'm glad we did now so it's yeah. done i don't need to worry i don't need to worry about it yeah now, so no nah, it looks wicked man and it's, and done, it's so. got you know that's got good protective properties as well yeah so I guess now, I mean, yeah, all the suspension's in, she is a roller again. You've just got to start working on what's next. You've got to put the brake booster back yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, so I've got to paint. <clears throat> I want to do the brake booster, like color code the brake booster. Now obviously we've done the firewall white. I don't really want to put a black booster in, so yeah. that's a VZ booster as well. So it's not the factory one. Hit it with some white and get that in before we start trying to 
shovel all the brake, you know, I've put this one brake line in, but yeah, the rest of the brake stuff. And um, yeah, basically do whatever we need to do before the engine goes in, because I want the engine in, because I want to get started on wiring and getting it to make some noise. So. Yeah, that's it. And that's going to be coming real soon, because we, like I said, we're shifting focus. I think, I don't know, our, our tempo's kind of changed. And, and the way that we've been thinking, like, everything, all of this painting stuff, been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. It's been like a mental I've, barrier. I have drug my ass, <laughs> as they say, the yeah. X foot forever. Like yeah. it's, it's, there's, there's no legitimate excuse other than I've just procrastinated for this yeah. long. So now that we can sort of see a bit of light, well, that, that's just sort of what, what I'm aiming yeah. for. We've got over this sort of fairly major hurdle. The rest of the stuff, we're certainly not experts in, but we are proficient enough to drop an engineer yeah, and, yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. So, that's what will be coming up in the next couple of episodes and hopefully if we can pull our fingers out we can make that happen reasonably quickly. Yeah, yeah. And we're um we're gonna maybe do a couple of shorter episodes. So let us know in the comments what yeah. you reckon with the with the next we're gonna try and maybe shorten them up a bit and break them up into a, something a little bit more consistent. Yeah. A we don't bit we don't wanna keep to... don't wanna keep having these month long breaks in between videos in the interests of, of making a, a full full video like yeah. we normally do because sometimes the roster just doesn't allow it so where there's time we'll still do those videos but I think um, in the interim we'll in the interest of keeping the consistency of uploads we're just gonna do these ones and get them, out. them up a little bit yeah, yeah for sure we'll, yeah we'll see how we go anyway sick well man I'm super stoked yeah I know you're super stoked yeah old mate super stoked yeah he's, he's getting it <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for this one. We're going to call it there. And uh, in the next one, we're going to start getting some more gear in this engine bay. And soon, man, I can't wait for this engine to go in. Yeah, it's going to be going to, That's going to be a major turning point. So yeah. thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Keep an eye out for some more content on this car. And I've got some news on my VH. Yes. Panel shop is just about ready for it. So um, that episode will be coming up also. But until next time, cheers guys, we'll catch you later.